This is real science. This is fundamental questions that thinking men and women have wondered about for thousands of years. The role of life in the universe. This is very different from going to the moon and dating craters in order to produce enough data to get a credible paper to publish in the Journal of Geophysical Research and get tenure. Okay. The, the hey everyone, Nick here. And space is a pretty funny thing. Whether it be our disputes about planetary orbits or arguments about extraterrestrial life, one thing can be for absolute sure. Uncertainty plays a huge, if not monstrous role in any effort we have in the cosmos. And that's also what's the most beautiful thing about the science and astronomy in particular, because you never know what new research is going to come out and blow your mind next, like evidence of a ninth planet that just might be legit enough for us to take action on it. Let's check it out. All right, so now for a bit of history. Suspicion of an extra planet roaming around in our solar system has been around for almost 200 years, and it all started with a guy named Percival Lowell. And he believed strongly that the orbits of Neptune and Uranus had concealed another gas giant that was roughly half the mass of Neptune. Unfortunately, Lowell had ended up dying in 1916 without enough proof to back up his claims. Then came along the ambitious Clive Tombaugh, who once again spearheaded Lowell's efforts, and he ended up finding Pluto in 1930. What was interesting though was that Pluto was much smaller and darker than the planet Lowell was describing, and so this whole Planet X theory came to a screeching halt. But that's now about to change. The Kuiper Belt is basically like the asteroid belt, except on steroids. It's about 20 times wider, and we've seen some seriously strange things there. We found Pluto as well as two other dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt, and ever since 2003, we found a lot more weird objects with equally puzzling orbits. Now, the Kuiper Belt lies just outside of the solar system, which is kind of why we had the whole Pluto is, but it's not a planet controversy. But anyways, Caltech began mapping the orbits of all these very weird objects, and they found evidence of a potential ninth planet. At first, it freaked scientists out because of its very weird orbital geometry. It fell under this term called anti-alignment, and if you think that's weird, imagine the math behind the whole process. Researchers believe that Planet 9 could be the remains of a big gas giant that was ejected from our solar system quite a while ago. And now that we've proved its existence, a whole other step is to actually find it and start drawing conclusions. But I don't think that should trouble us too much because we always find some way to figure it out. I think it would be foolish to be on the wrong side of history simply because our speculations are too big for us. Let's have faith and see what new and awesome discoveries can be made. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.